Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to get true mouse controls in PCSX2. So let's, I assume you have it already downloaded. This is the newest nightly build I've downloaded on the day of making this video. So let's quickly extract that. Let's start the program. Let's go all through all this locate our BIOS folder so I assume you've already done all this but let's do it together anyway let's choose our games folder uh, whatever this doesn't matter this doesn't matter and let's finish alright so first up I don't know, oh wait, can I do it here? Yes, all right, you want to go to tools and you want to click show advanced settings. Yes, all right. So what you now want to go and do is go to those settings here, advanced settings. You scroll all the way down you have to enable this. Enable Pine settings. Alright, so change this number to 28012. I don't know why, I'm just following the instructions. And let's close this. Now what you want to do is you want to download this program. It's called Kami. I'll link it in the description. It's uh, a, an injector that, well, you know, I'll just show you, it just works. You have to make sure you have Net7 runtime installed. So I'll just use this link, install that. It's very quick. After you've downloaded that, let's download it again. Let's download it in, where is this? emulation all right now what you want to do is obviously extract that i've already done it so you know it has dll files so don't forget to um, unblock it all right and then we start it up And I've already set the buttons. So you just click on one of these and set a button for them. I have set on off to tilde. Uh, I've left everything as it is. I've enabled height mouse cursor. Because otherwise you see the mouse on screen while you are trying to aim. Then we are going to go back. If it doesn't work, make sure you don't have two instances on of the emulator because this is like take five. I had to figure out what I was doing wrong. Then we start up the game. For the purpose of this video, I have set a, um, oh, wait. All right, I accidentally deleted my save state, so let's just all right let's uh can we load again let's check if we can load again all right there isn't so let's do that over yes we have format Good. Let's save. <laughs> what more Let's have to about? Just skip everything. All right. Let's turn off. Turn off fast forward. All right. And now, as you can see, this has gone to ready. 
So let's continue this. I keep pausing it. Greetings, client nine one eight oh two, and up, welcome we back to the to Solana. Go to the settings of the game. Um, oops. All right, options, camera. Let's set the first person mode. Make sure that's all set to normal. Let's just max this out. All right, let me go back. Go back. Galaxy. And as you can see, you're a first person now. Now, what happens if you press still that? It's injecting. Look at that. It's actually real master and it feels completely natural. Obviously, you can always keep the settings, use the sensitivity and lower the DPI. But as you can see, it just works. So, how cool is that? And if you want to change anything, Oh, I just realized in my uh, capture software you can see the mouse, but trust me, I can't see the mouse. So let's press tilde again, and as you can see, it's disabled. So I hope I have been able to help. Uh, this is a very early version of this Twitter program, so if there are any mistakes, program or any glitches, I can't really help you with that, but if you understand how this program works, how the source code works, please, you could help out this developer. So, this is my first video, I'm quite shy to make this stuff, so, yes, I know I'm awkward, but anyway, that doesn't matter. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.